Good morning, Redwood, and happy Thursday. Let's get in the kitchen for lunch today. For lunch today, we are having grilled chicken on a bun with California blend, potato salad, fruitocracy pouches, orange slices, and your choice of milk. And we have a few birthdays to announce today. Happy birthday to Adeline Ramon Garcia, Jacob Cozart, and Isabel Wogensinger. All of you enjoy your birthday and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Okay, several announcements today. Uh, we do have vision screening going on, and that's first grade, third grade, and fifth grade who are involved in that, and I believe we're showing with the first graders. Uh, just a reminder that there is a PBIS team meeting tonight from 415 to 6, and I believe that will be in the gym. No, oh, no, sorry, wrong thing. That will be in the library, PBIS for the grown-ups in the library. Uh, girls on the run tonight, that will be in the gym. And I believe we have Girl Scouts. I want to verify because I heard that some of the Girl Scouts might be canceled, but we aren't sure. So I'll check and let you know. Uh, let's see here. Let me sure I don't forget anything. I got several things on my list here. Um, tomorrow is Popcorn Friday, so come ready for some popcorn. And thank you to Mrs. Sheffy and her helpers for making sure we have a great Popcorn Friday. NEHS students, a couple things for you. Their fundraiser has started. If you're looking for a great deal on a 31 bag, see one of our friendly NEHS students. They're doing a fundraiser until the 28th of this month. Also, NEHS members are working on a service project. They're going to be doing some reading in other classrooms during March's reading month. So, teachers, if you have an NEHS member approach you to sign up, they should have a, a, make a schedule with you or an appointment, and they'll be coming in to read, and there's a form they have to do, I believe. So we'll have some guest readers throughout the building from our NEHS group. I love that we're doing extra reading around the building. Thanks for being such great helpers, NEHS. Wave Council. Remember that your nutrition poster is due Friday, tomorrow. Please work to complete quality projects. And that's from Ms. Klein and Mr. Wilmer. Also tomorrow, I know, isn't it crazy? Tomorrow is career day. So all of us have a chance to dress up as our favorite profession. So that's like job. So what will you dress up as tomorrow? What will be your favorite job to have? I will be interested and curious to see how some people choose to dress. I'll just decide what I want to look like tomorrow. I'm not sure. I've got some thoughts in my head just thinking about it right now. Also, I had some kids ask me yesterday, Mr. D, what is that you're carrying? Yeah, so if you have not seen these yet, these are called reading tickets. Mine are orange because I like orange. I made them orange. Yours may not be orange. They might be white. Um, they could be some other color. Who knows? So during reading month, we have these. Grown-ups have these, and we're walking around. If we see a kid or a group of kids reading, we can give them a reading ticket. And that gets your name on the top here. My name's already on it. And then you fill it out, and there are bags in the library with teachers' names on them. You would simply put it in your teacher's bag, and there will be some drawings later on. So here's what I did yesterday. I did get some tickets out. I had some kids ask me, if you ask me about a reading ticket, zero, zilch, nada. I don't give them out. And then I might not choose to give everybody in the classroom at the same time a reading ticket. I might give three people reading tickets. I might give one person reading tickets. It's up to me to decide. So, But when you ask for them, it's definitely for me a no. And it's real reading, not fake reading. Um, and yes, I know the difference. I've done this long enough. I can tell the difference. So just so you know why I'm carrying these around, and you might see these in other teachers' hands as well. So just a heads up. Uh, bathroom battle. Bathroom battle. So I checked yesterday. Boys, much better job. Thank you for leaving the ketchup where it belongs in the lunchroom. And so ladies, again, a nice job. So, good job on that. Um, I will say, I was checking this morning, I was in one of the boys' bathrooms, and if I would have been inspecting, the boys would have lost their ticket for today that would be put in tomorrow. But I wasn't, so it didn't count yet. I was just cleaning up. Toilet paper, not used, thank goodness. Um, on the floor, piled up. I don't know who else they should play with that. Uh, that paper is not for playing with, it's for doing some other stuff with. So please don't waste the resources in the bathroom and keep those bathrooms neat and clean. That's very important to keep our school looking nice. Um, having some concerns with behaviors also, I'm just going to bring it up right now with all of you um, during recess at lineup time. So here's one of the things I'm hearing, especially with my older students, fourth and fifth graders, but it could be other ones as well. Um, 
when the whistle's blowing, we're not lining up very quickly, especially if we're in the far fields on the soccer field in the football area. So my solution would be two things. First off, you need to learn to move faster, and I know how fast you all are, fourth and fifth graders. But the other solution would be to close those areas down if we can't get back from them fast enough to get in line when the whistles blow. We need to get lined up. We need to get back into the building and get things done. I'm also concerned with some of the people that are showing aggression or anger towards other people. Not acceptable behavior, and Mrs. Quist and I are both working together on that along with all the grown-ups in the building. So, students, I need your help. I tell people daily that Redwood is a safe place to be. I can only make it so safe by myself. I need your help. The grown-ups can only do so much by themselves. We need your help, students. You've got to help us keep this a, to be a safe place as well. It can't just be the grown-ups working on it. I know you can do that. I know you want your school to be safe, so you need to help us out. And we will probably be sharing more information about how you can help in the coming days as we get closer and closer to uh, spring break and the end of the school year. I know we're outside a whole lot more often because it's such nice weather, but it needs to be safe so we can enjoy the playground. Thank you for your help with that. Um, word hunt continues. Let me see. Um... Braden Ackerman, I'm trying to think, who all told me yesterday that they were done or this morning? Um, oh my gosh. Ben Williamson told me he was all done with the words. Um, there was somebody else in Mrs. Ms. Palmatier's class who told me, I can't remember. Anyways, keep up the great work on the word searches and the word finds. Um, we've even got high school kids coming in after school now to look for the words. That's pretty awesome. At this time, would you please stand for... From Mrs. Stoll's class to help us with the pledge, we have... Verbatim. Keely. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye. Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job, and everyone have a great day, learners.